Hi, I'm Serena Gupta, PME for Linear Power, and I have Bill Stokes here with me to teach us how to pick a high current LDO for computing applications for powering FPGAs or microprocessors. Bill is an applications engineer at TI and supports Linear Power. He has extensive field experience to help you guys pick the right path for the right application. So Bill, we all know the basic parameters such as input voltage, output voltage and load current that we can use to pick an LDO. But what other parameters should a customer consider while selecting an LDO from TI's parametric search table? Yes, actually, before the get-go. As the first step in the design, to understand the required thermal metrics based on the input to output voltage and current requirements is essential. This cannot be emphasized enough. Due to the linear analog nature of the regulator, the voltage drop across the part results in proportional heat energy being dissipated in the LDO, which can cause the recommended operating junction temperatures to be exceeded while not necessarily exceeding any of the rated voltage current specifications for the part. And by grappling with the thermal considerations, this initial design effort will also help in planning and replanning the arrangement of the system voltage rails to best provide efficient use of desired LDOs. The type of acceptable packaging will follow, as well as the amount of copper area needed to sink heat away from the package. Texas Instruments has several really good application notes, and in particular we have TI's newest PCB thermal calculator to help the designers in these efforts. Although every engineer dreams of using the SOT23 for every application, it may be necessary to move on to a more sophisticated surface mount package with a bottom side power pad for thermal dissipation. The bottom line is that the input and output voltage must be planned in such a way to meet thermal requirements on the one hand and to optimize loop performance on the other. And so we want low dropout for efficiency and some headroom above dropout between V in and V out to assure good loop response characteristics. The lower the dropout voltage of an LDO, the easier it is to meet both criteria at the same time for a smaller overall input and output voltage difference. So what I gathered is that for high current LDOs, we need to pick LDOs with low dropout voltages to account for heat dissipation and accommodate package constraints. So would you recommend LDOs with external bias or internal charge pumps? Especially for higher current applications, the answer to both questions is yes. The lowest possible dropout voltages are achievable when the main internal pass transistor is an in MOSFET, and these often require a higher bias voltage than the desired VN voltage for best performance. For the gate driver of the in MOSFET, this higher bias voltage can be supplied externally if the rail is available, and it often is, or the bias voltage can be generated internally to the regulator with a charge pump circuit. Texas Instruments has very low dropout regulators of both types in our catalog. I would like to bring your attention to our new line of LDOs with high current and internal charge pump. TPS 7A70, 71, 72, 73 are a new series of LDOs with internal charge pump and load currents ranging from 1 amp to 3 amps. So Bill, so far we have narrowed down our LDO selection based on input voltages, output voltage, load current, VDO, package constraints, by supply or charge pump technology. Are there any other selection criteria we need to consider? TI's catalog of high current and high power LDOs come with a variety of bells and whistles necessary for complex applications involving base station and telecom FPGAs and microprocessors. For these applications, we have programmable soft start, tracking, power good, and reset features. Thank you, Bill, for that insight into selecting the right part for the right application. I would also encourage you to take our evaluation modules to your lab and test our LDOs or download software models for any of our LDOs from TI.com to try it in your system. 
Thank you for your time and thank you for watching.